G'day guys, this is Tia, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 Wastelanders Guide. This one's going to be showing all of you how to acquire the third legendary named unique weapon in this DLC. We've covered the Vats Unknown, and we've covered the final word. Now onto the unique Plasma Rifle, the Slug Buster. Now, not a lot of people know about this weapon because it is kind of hidden away in the final mission. So yes, yeah, spoiler warning right now, if you want to click off the video to avoid spoilers, this is your chance to do so. Anyways, I'll mention the two requirements to get this gun right now. Very easy, nice and simple. Number one, keep in mind that you are siding with the Raiders to get this weapon, and that you can only acquire it during the final mission. There are no second chances. Number two, you need to have completed the Raider quest called Playtime, where you go and rescue Rara. And you need to make sure that you are as nice as possible to her during that mission. Be very kind, and maybe even give her some food when she asks for it during that mission. At the end of that mission, if you were nice to her, you will have the option to ask her to assist you in the final mission where you break into Vault 79. She will only accept if you are kind to her. So if you've done all of that and are now onto the final mission where you are sided with the Raiders, just go on ahead and start that up. I'll have background footage playing this whole time showing exactly where you need to be and where you need to go to. It's all really, really simple and easy. Go through and complete all your objectives in this final Vault Raid mission. Once you're at this point on screen right now, Rara will stop you and ask once again if you want her to go into this small vent and unlock a door. Again, this will only happen if Rara likes you and if you are nice to her. She will then crawl through the vent and open the door where you can then pick up the Slugbuster, a unique plasma rifle that spawns with the anti-armor legendary prefix along with the VATS does 50% more critical damage and 90% reduced weight second and third stars. It is a pretty decent gun for newer and older players. It's definitely not the worst option in the world, it's good for a collection piece, and it sure does pack a solid punch if you're using it on the correct build. Now this does go great with the Armco ammunition machine that you can purchase from the Raiders. Link to that will be in the top right, right now. And I say it will be great alongside this weapon because plasma cartridges are kind of rare and expensive to craft. So it's handy to have a machine that auto-generates them for you. Just a tip I thought I'd share. <laughs> Anyways, like always with these weapons, I'll do a bit of gameplay after I sign off from the video, so I hope you enjoy the gameplay if you do decide to stick around and watch it, and I hope this guide was helpful. So yes, that's going to do it for me guys, as always a massive thank you to my channel members, I cannot thank you guys enough for the support, it truly means the world. If you'd like to join them and have your name displayed at the end of every little video that I make, be sure to check that out in the description by joining and becoming a channel member. Also in the description are my links to my social media and my discord. Click those if you're interested, or not. It's fine. <laughs> if you enjoyed the video and want to see more from me, then please consider subscribing. My name is Tia, and I'll catch you in the next one. Welcome to Valhalla.